Here's my collar design which was inspired by the v &A collections. I really loved a lot of the floral crochet so I tried to bring that here in my motifs. I've made this collar made up of different sections because then it means once you learnt the motif you can make it into a collar but then you can also use that to make so much more. The collar is made up of four squares, one, two, three, four, and three triangles, one, two, three. And each of these has then got four different colours and four separate rows. The tutorial is going to take you through how to do this granny square with our flower in the middle, how we can adapt it to make the triangle, how then we're going to join them and do this pom-pom trim. What you'll need for this is a crochet hook and use the size that is suitable for your yarn, a pair of scissors and some different colours. I've given it this black base trim for this really kind of like traditional folk look um, and that's the one you'll need most of but all the small bits in between you can use any colour. So we're going to start with this granny square and I'm going to break it down and show you all the different steps on how to make it. So we're going to start off our granny square flower which is four rounds but first I'm going to show you the very basics on how to hold our yarn and our hook. We want to take our yarn and we want to make a slip stitch at first so we bring this out come out, make a small E, come in from the top, grab your yarn, pull it through, don't let that tail go all the way through and make yourself a little knot. This knot we can then tighten and place on our hook. If you're right-handed or left-handed, the two ways that you generally hold your hook are like a knife or like a pen. I hold mine like a pen, I find it most easiest. And then in our left hand is where we're gonna hold all our tension. So I bring it over my palm, under my middle finger, round the back of my hand, and then I pinch my thumb and my first finger to make a kind of shadow puppet bunny. And then I grab this tail. And when you're crocheting, there's lots of different ways to hold it, but what's most important is that you have this area of tension, and it means that then you can smoothly crochet. So with our hook, we're gonna come under the yarn, over the top, and pull that through the knot. Your first one can get a bit tight and then you pull it right through. So for this uh, first round of our granny skirt we're going to chain five. So come in round, pull through two, three, four, five. And to start off when working in a motif we're working in a round. So we want to make this into our little donut shape. So we take our hook and put it through the first stitch we did to make a little U shape. And then we're gonna do a slip stitch. So we want to wrap over our hook and pull through both loops to join them together. And this is what we make a little donut shape. And we're gonna work into that. So the very middle of our flower is made up of double crochets, but first we need to get the height out. So we do one chain and then into this donut, we're gonna do a double crochet. We go in, grab our yarn, pull through the middle, then wrap and pull through both. So we come in to the middle of your donut, grab your yarn, pull it through the middle. So you've got two loops on your hook, wrap and pull through both. And we want to do, for our granny square flower, we want to do eight of these in total, but the first chain counts as one. So we want to do seven more. So we go into the donut, grab it, pull through, wrap and pull through two. Into the donut, pull three, wrap, pull through two. And then we want to count these as we go. And the way that you can count your stitches is by these little Vs along the top. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. To join them, we're gonna do a slip stitch. So again, we want to go into the first V up the top, wrap round our hook and pull through both. And this completes our first round. And when I'm doing these, I always like to finish off as it's more secure. So I wrap round, do an extra stitch, take my scissors, cut my thread and pull it all the way through. And that's your first round. So for our second part of our flower, we're gonna work on our petals. And actually it's this circle here. 
So we want to take our inner and we're going to get our new colour. And I always like to start with it on my hook because I find it more secure. So we're going to do our knot again. So we take our thread, make it like a small E, come in, pull it through to make our adjustable loop, take our hook, put it on. So now we're going to work into this. So we want to set up our hand again, and it's really important to get your hand right because then it will make it really helpful for this next round. And we're going to join in. So this also, this next stitch here, we're learning a new stitch. This will be a treble. So we take this, and if you can look around the edge, we've got our Vs, there are stitches. We want to go under both threads to join in. So our knots on our hook, come under, pull that tight, hook your yarn, bring it through to the front, so you've got two loops, just like our double crochet, wrap and pull through both. And this will fasten it to your first round. Now, because we're doing a treble, it's a taller stitch. So for the very first one, we need to chain two more stitches, one, two, to give us our height out from the center. We're now gonna do our treble stitch and into each one of our stitches, we're gonna do three trebles. This first chain counts as our first one, so now we're going to go on to our second one. And for the treble, it's a longer stitch. We wrap around our needle first, come into the same hole, hook your yarn like before, bring it through. This time we've got three loops on our hook instead of two, like with the double. And we're always wanting to combine two. So we wrap around our hook and pull through two. We've got two left wrap around our hook and pull through two. We want one more treble in this section. So we wrap around our hook first, into the same hole, hook our yarn, pull it through to the front. We've got our three loops. We wrap around, pull through two, wrap around, pull through two. And that will become our first petal. We're now gonna go into the next stitch. There's no chains or anything. We just start again, so wrap around your hook into the next stitch under both of the threads. Hook your yarn from the back, pull through to the front. We've got our three loops. Wrap around, pull through two. Wrap around, pull through two. We're gonna do two more trebles in the same stitch. So wrap around your hook, put through, grab, pull through. We've got three, wrap, pull through two, wrap, pull through two. And one more in this stitch, wrap around, in, grab, we've got three, wrap, pull through two, wrap, pull through two. And you want to repeat that into every stitch all the way around until you have eight clusters of three trebles. So in, your three, wrap, pull through two, pull through two. So we've got to our last section, so we're going to wrap around, go in, pull through, wrap, pull through two, wrap, pull through two. Our second one, and our last treble. So wrap around, in the same hole, you've got your three, wrap, pull through two, wrap, pull through two. So I always like to double check every round that I've got the right number, because if you don't check and you start the next round, you can then sometimes spot your mistake. So just count that you've got your eight clusters. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now we're gonna to want to join with a slip stitch again. So in this is your first chain up that's acting as a fake treble. We want to go into the top stitch. So it'll be the third stitch up and this very top V here. So we're gonna go through that under both loops, wrap around and slip stitches where we pull through everything at once. So through that one, through that one our hook and that's our round joined. Like before, I do one extra stitch, take my scissors, snip, pull through to secure. And that is our second bit and this is our completed flower. So we're now gonna work on our third round and we're gonna join in the green and this round will then end up looking like our leaves. This round is still using trebles but I'm also gonna show you how to do a double treble and instead of working in the stitch this time, we're gonna be working in between our trebles. But we wanna join our yarn on our hook like before. So we take our thread, wrap it round like a small E, come through, put our adjustable loop 
on our hook, make it a bit tighter, place on our hook and pull tighter. So when we first join in to this row, we want to join in between the clusters of trebles. So can you see how you've, gone, you've got three trebles into one stitch? We want to go in between the gap before the next one. So we go through from the front, wrap round our hook, pull through. We've got our two loops, we wrap and pull through two. The first section we're going to be doing is trebles again. So as we've connected, we need to get our height again. We're going to do two chain, one, two. And then into this section, we're going to do two more trebles. So we wrap around our hook, into the gap, pull through. We've got our three again, wrap, pull through two, wrap, pull through two. And one more of those, wrap around our hook, into the gap, pull three, wrap, pull through two, wrap, pull through two. So that is our first section. Now we're going to go into the next gap between the um, clusters here. And so that's after three trebles. So you've got one, two, three, and we're going to go into this space. Now for this one, we're going to do a corner. So we're going to do a double treble. So for a double treble, we wrap not just once around our hook, but twice. Then we go into the gap. We grab the yarn like normal, pull it through. But instead of three now, we have four but we keep to our rules of always combining two. So we wrap, pull through two, wrap, pull through two, and now we just have one more section to go, wrap, pull through two. This is a longer stitch, and this will help turn our circle into a square. So we want to wrap twice around our hook, into the hole, pull through, wrap, pull through two, wrap, pull through two, wrap, pull through two. And so we've got one more long double treble, wrap twice around your hook, into the same hole, grab it, pull three, you've got your loops, wrap, pull through two, wrap, pull through two, and then wrap, pull through two. So this is our straight. We now want to start it so it's a corner. So we need to chain three, one, two, three. And now we're going to double treble back into the same space. So wrap around your hook twice again, into the same hole, grab it, pull through to the front, wrap, pull through two, wrap, pull through two, wrap, pull through two. And two more of these, twice around your hook, in, pull through, wrap, pull through two, wrap, pull through two, wrap, pull through two. And one more. So that completes our first corner. And now in the next gap, we're going to do three trebles again. So we just wrap once this time, miss three trebles, one, two, three, into that gap from the back, pull through to the front, wrap, pull through two, wrap, pull through two, wrap around your hook once, in, you've got your three loops again, wrap, pull through two, wrap, pull through two, wrap around, in, out, wrap, pull through two, wrap, pull through two. And now we're going to go on to our corner number two. So we want to get to our double treble again. So wrap twice, count your three trebles, one, two, three, into that gap after the third. And do our three double trebles, three chains, and three double trebles into the corner. And then you just want to repeat this pattern until you get all the way round your circle and you completely square off. So now we're on our last corner. So we've got one, two, we're finishing off our third side. We're going to do our double trebles, wrap twice again, miss the three and into that gap here. And our corner is our three double trebles, three chain, three double trebles. We got to our final corner and then we want to join our square. So we're going to join with a slip stitch again. So here's our first treble. We count three up, one, two, three. Join in the top stitch. Take our yarn, pull it through, pull it through both with our slip stitch. Do one extra stitch to join. Take our scissors, cut and pull through. And so now we've squared off our circle. 
So now we're going to join in our final round and this is in our main base colour. So I'm using my black, we're going to join it in like we did before. So we make our small E, pull through the tail, don't let it all the way through, make our adjustable knot, place that on our hook and pull it tight. So now, other than like when we had our circle, our clusters are a bit more defined in our square and I always find it helpful to join in the corner chain space here. So we're going to join in just like before and this final round is working in just the normal treble size. So we're going to go into our corner, grab the yarn, pull it three so we've got our two loops, wrap and pull through both to connect into our corner. So again like the other rounds we want to get our height out so we need to chain two first, one, two and this becomes like a fake treble. We're going to now do in our corner two more trebles, three chains, three trebles into this same hole. So wrap into the gap, grab, pull through, we've got three, wrap, pull through two, wrap, pull through two, wrap around into the same hole, we've got three, wrap, pull through two, wrap, pull through two. We're going to chain three for our corner, one, two, three, and then we're going to go back in the same hole with three more trebles. So wrap, pull through two, pull through two, wrap around into the gap. So now we're going to work along the straight. So in this gap here and here between these clusters, we're just going to put three trebles in each. So we're going to wrap around into this next gap, pull through, wrap, pull through two, wrap, pull through two, wrap around in, pull through two, pull through two, wrap around into the gap, out, wrap, pull through two, pull through two. And this is doing our more traditional granny square. So we're going to go in now to this gap with our three trebles. So wrap first into the gap. And now we're on to our next corner. So in the corner, we're going to do three trebles, three chain, three trebles in the corner. And we're just going to repeat that all the way around. So in the corners, we want those double clusters to increase our square. And in the straights, we just want our three trebles between each cluster. And now we're on our final edge. So we've got two more clusters left. So in. And on our final treble, we then want to join again with the beginning of the row with our slip stitch. So we count our three stitches up, so the join stitch, one, two, and then into the third stitch, we're going to grab our yarn, pull it through everything on our hook, do one extra stitch to secure. And with this one now, for our joining later, we're going to pull a nice long strand through. So instead of cutting short, we're going to cut a nice long strand, about 30 centimetres, cut and pull that all the way through to finish off our square. For your collar, you're going to want to have four of these squares in total. So after you've finished those four, then you're going to want to start your triangles. The basic principle of our triangles are the same, and we're going to follow the same pattern, but we just want to end up with three sides, not four. So I'm going to take you through that. In our new colours, we want to do our base and the circle in the middle is the same, except for eight stitches, we're now going to have six. And then our next increase, we're going to still work our clusters of three, but now we're going to be left with a smaller circle and it's only going to have six sets of petals. We want to join in our green like we did before, and now when we join it in, we'll follow exactly the same pattern as before, but you'll end with only three sides. We're then going to do our black and final row to do our edging. And now our edging is the same, but there's one small difference with our triangle because we want nice straight sides. So in between each of these clusters now, instead where we went straight in, we're going to do a chain space in between. And that helps us get a nice pointy triangle. In your pattern, you're going to want to make three of these. So now I'm going to join my square and my triangle and this is why we kept this nice long thread from before because we're going to use that to join it. 
You can choose to sew them together, but I always find crocheting is a lot quicker and easier. The first thing we want to do is move this from this join here into our corner. So what we're just going to do is go into the next stitch, hook our yarn, bring it through, and then travel to this corner and just do one double crochet. And then pull that all the way through. Pull it all the way through, and so it's got to our corner. We're then going to put our right sides together and our two straights together, so we've got both the corners in the same place. Right sides together, pick up our two pieces, and we're going to work through both layers to join them. So if we take our hook and put it through that corner, and it's going to go through both corners, grab our yarn, put it in our hand again, hook our thread, pull it through to the corner, and do one chain to secure. So that's now secured our corners. We now need to travel this distance and I think the best way is to chain three, one, two, three, and then now we're going to want to do a double crochet through both layers. So through this gap and the gap on the other side, hook our yarn, bring it through to the front, wrap, pull through two, chain three again, one, two, three, move on into the next cluster gap. So in this gap here, through both layers, double crochet, and then chain three, one, two, three, onto the next one, through both layers, double crochet, chain through both, one, two, three, and then into our final corner, through both corners, bring it through, we've got two, double crochet, and then do one extra stitch and pull all the way through to secure. And that will join your square to your triangle. Then you want to follow the pattern of the collar to complete your U shape. So in this little swatch here, I'm going to show you how we can do our bobble trim once you've completed your full collar. So we take our base collar again, and like always, we want to join it on our hook. So we do our E, grab, pull through. Put on our hook. And the bobble is worked by doing chains and then doing little clusters of trebles. So we're going to join in to the corner space with our double crochet. And the bobbles are worked up of. You do a chain of three, one, two, three. And I always pinch here so I can know I can tell where I am. And then you want to do three more chains, one, two, three. And our bobble is made up of two clusters of trebles. So now we're going to do three trebles together. So wrap round and we're going to go into where we've pinched. So on the third stitch down, we're going to go into that stitch. Grab, pull through. You've got our three on our hook. Wrap, pull through two. And then working with our trebles together to get the bobble, we don't complete the last step. And we want to do one more treble. So we go wrap round our hook into the hole, grab, pull through, wrap, pull through two, but leave the last step on the hook. So we're building up our stitches and we want one more. So wrap around your hook, through into the same hole, wrap, pull through, wrap, pull through two. And now we've got one, two, three, four on our hook. We're gonna wrap and combine them all. And this makes the first half of our bobble. We're now gonna chain three again, one, two, three. And we're going to work down into the stitch that closed our bobble off. So we wrap around into that stitch, wrap, pull through, wrap, pull through two, leave that last stage on your hook. Do another treble in, pull through, wrap, pull through two, leave that last stage on your hook, wrap around into the hole, grab it, pull through, wrap, pull through two. You've now got one, two, three, four of your half made trebles on your hook. I'm going to wrap and pull through everything. So you end up with two little petals. To make our bobble, we then fold these in half. So we fold those together. With our hook, we go through this top stitch here and do a slip stitch. So pull through, pull through everything. And then to secure our bobble, we're going to do a double crochet over the chain. So come under your chain 
grab your thread, pull through, you've got two on your hook, wrap, pull through both. And that completes our bobble. We now want to finish the chain. So we do one, two, three, and then come over to our next cluster gap here and we do a double crochet to anchor it. And our bobble trim is just a repeat of that. So I'll do the second one. We're going to chain three, one, two, three. Pinch where our third chain is, chain three more, one, two, three. And now we're going to do our treble three together. So we wrap round to do our treble in to our third stitch where we've pinched, grab, pull three, we've got three on our hook, wrap, pull through two, leave that last stage on your hook. So wrap around to do your second treble into the same hole, grab, pull through, wrap, pull through two, leave that last stage on your hook. We're going to do one more, so wrap around your hook into the hole, grab, pull through, wrap, pull through two. So we've got our four, so now we're going to wrap and pull through everything to close off that half of the bobble. And repeat that, so we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and now we're going to three uh, treble down into this, and so that is wrap, pull through the stitch. For the first of our three treble together, we've got our three, wrap, pull through two, leave that on there, wrap around into the hole, grab, pull through, wrap, pull through two, leave the last stage on, we've got one more treble, wrap around into the stitch, pull through, wrap, pull through two. So that's our three trebles on there. Now we're going to join them for our three treble together. So wrap and pull through everything. Again, we're going to then fold those two halves of petals to make our bobble together. Come in that big first stitch, grab, pull through, pull through everything as our slip stitch. Then we're going to double crochet over our chain. So under your chain, grab your thread, pull three, so you've got two loops, wrap, pull through two, to join the top of our bobble, and now we're going to chain three and anchor it to the next cluster with a double crochet. One, two, three, and anchor it in. That's how we join our bobbles along the edge, and you just want to carry on that pattern all across your edge. This is our final collar and you can follow the pattern to get each step by step on how you join them all together, add our trim all around the edge and then finish off with your bow. What's great about learning them in components is that now you've learned how to do your squares and your triangles, you can use them in loads more too. You might want to join your squares together to make a bags, blankets, tops, it's endless. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Happy crocheting!